Good morning. The temperatures are warming up and that means summer is almost here. Summer in Indiana also means strawberry season and there are so many delicious ways to bring strawberries into your home. We're here at Snorri Ask You with uh, some special ideas for how to celebrate specifically this weekend. Yes, it is about to be pick strawberry day and strawberry and cream day. Perfect. And I've got them both covered. We love it. And uh, of course it's homemade with a twist and Tenoria always makes it nice and easy. These biscuits are gorgeous. So I made cream cheese biscuits. Yum. I love using the cream cheese biscuits for dessert versus something savory. It's basically cream cheese instead of shortening. That's nice, yeah. and they're really fluffy and beautiful too. Yeah, cut them really high, and I actually put some coarse sugar on top you because it's dessert. That. And it's sparkly. Yeah. Okay, then we're gonna put this stuff on top. Yeah, so I've got um, fresh basil, I'll talk about that in a minute, and strawberries, and then I've got a strawberry basil compote. Delish. That's why we have the fresh basil. So we're just gonna put a little bit of what's in here on top so people know what it is. And if you're making strawberry shortcake at home, there's one little extra tip that Tenori has got, and that is making your own whipped cream. So what people don't know is that you should start your fresh whipped cream with a frozen bowl. It just gets it to whipped cream faster. So I'm gonna pour in some cold, heavy whipping cream. Everything needs to be cold for your fresh cream. And we are going to start this on low so that I don't get a heavy cream shower. <laughs> and then we're just gonna keep going until it gets thick. Now when you go too far, you've made butter. I have no problem with butter, but that's not what we're trying to do today. Right. We're putting it on top as a little bit of a condiment, although right. butter makes a delicious condiment. Right. So you've got the one ingredient, and mm -hmm. the other is powdered sugar. Powdered you've got sugar. to sweeten it a little bit. We don't add the powdered sugar until it's actually already whipped cream. Okay. How long should it normally take? You should run this for about three minutes. All right, how is it looking? It is ready to go. Look at that beautiful consistency. Wow. You know, my mom used to make homemade whipped cream, and I remember we used to eat it by the bowl full. Oh, so yeah. Why not put it on top of some cream cheese biscuits? Definitely. So now we're just going to build Delish. our strawberry shortcake. I'm following your lead, Tori. Okay, I'm going to pick a biscuit. This one is calling my name. I like this guy. And we're just going to open it. Nice and flaky Ooh. on the inside. I'm taking this little piece. Mm-mm. And oh, yeah. I'm going to start with compote because I want the juices from the compote to drain into the biscuit. Yeah. So start with that. And I will give you some if you would follow behind me with some fresh strawberries. Okay. Just plunk them right on top. Go for it. We just want the freshness and the brightness of a fresh strawberry to go on along with our cooked strawberries. And the cooked ones are a little sweeter, right? Yes, because they've been cooked with sugar. And then just a little bit of basil, not a whole lot, because we've got a lot of basil flavor already. The finale. Uh -huh. Is that too much? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Fine, then I'll put a little more. The more whipped cream, the better. Ooh, Some people ooh. like to top it with vanilla ice cream. Ooh, you yum. can totally do that if you want to. Um, I like the whipped cream, but completely up to you. All right, Tenoria, should we dig in? Absolutely. All right. Yum, yum. Mmm. Basil, perfect addition. Mm-hmm. It goes so well with strawberries. Well, happy strawberry picking to one and all.